Good Tuesday evening. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. Thanks for joining us. Christy has this week off. It is the Christmas delivery crunch like we've never seen before, too. And postal workers are pulling double duty, just trying to make sure your packages arrive on time for the holiday. News Channel Line's Kate Douglas joins us live in North Syracuse at the Taffero Post Office. Kate, how are they doing? Jeff, it is busy at the post office. The postmaster here in Syracuse says they are in full tilt, pulling on any additional resource they can to make those deliveries happen. He says they are seeing historic volume, and that's just one of the many challenges causing delays. We are extremely busy. The final holiday push at the post office as the USPS processes, sorts, and delivers a record volume of mail. Compounded by the challenges with the surge in COVID-19, which is impacting our employee availability. Um, we also have challenges with our air network, the trucking network, and it's, uh, the culmination of this is leading to some temporary delays throughout our network. The USPS says locally they're expecting to meet deadlines if you ship by December 15th. But of course, they can't make any guarantees. They say it's partly because demand simply has not let up. We have a first in, first out uh, order for all of the mail and packages. And um, although the, the mailing continues, that's the interesting thing about this season. Traditionally, the week leading up to Christmas, our lobbies die down a bit. Our, our inputs reduce and processing and delivery catches up. This year, it's nonstop. And their operations behind the scenes, nonstop too. We've increased our hiring. Um, we've brought on additional vehicles. Um, our, we've run our machines, our sorting machines, harder than we've ever, we've ever run them. But we are definitely pushing in all directions with, with every piece of equipment that we own, lease, or borrow to, to help get everything home for the holidays. The package pandemonium doesn't end this Friday. The USPS expects record returns as well as record gift card sales, which means increased shipping and spending will likely continue long after the holidays. Reporting live in North Syracuse, Kate Douglas, News Channel 9.